everybody, this is Jeff with Reverb. I'm here today to talk about Johnny Winter and some Johnny Winter licks. I've got this uh, 65 non-reverse Firebird that they had here at Reverb. Um, I think Johnny played a 64 reverse Firebird, but somewhere in the ballpark, uh, similar. And of course, Johnny Winter is one of the Texas blues greats. And the thing about Johnny, I think that separate, separates him from some of the other Texas players or blues players of that genre it was just the, the speed that he could play at and the fluency and how clear his notes were. I think Johnny, if I'm not mistaken, used a thumb pick and maybe an index finger pick. I'm using a flat pick today, but the licks that I'm gonna show you would translate to either one. Johnny, I think, I don't know if he was a big pedal guy in the day, I think he used to just turn up tube amps so they break up, but. I'm using a, a Pro Analog Devices a Manicore Overdrive. The amp is pretty clean. I've got a mild amount of drive coming out of the pedal. So it should sound like an amp when it's turned up on the verge of breakup. Well, this first lick I'm doing, I'm in the key of B, and I'm basically just staying in the in the blues or even the pentatonic box. Um, but this is this is one that Johnny used to do pretty often, and it's really quick. If I break down what I'm doing, I'm at the seventh fret, going to the tenth on the B string, seventh fret on the E string, and then backtracking with a pull off. And then this is, this is what really makes it Johnny, is this really swift, kind of sharp sounding, Uh, pull off hammer on combination from 10 to 7. And when he puts that together, and you can end it a variety of ways, but in this lick I was doing. Right there in the box. Nine on the G string, seven on the B string, seven on the G string. So again, slow. And then you can try and get up to Johnny's speed. All right. Well, the next Johnny Winter lick that I'd like to show you again is right in the in the in the blues box, right there, still in the key of B. And I'm kind of starting it out with you know the typical one of those that many players use. Um, but the way Johnny would add this lick to it, gave it its own flavor. And basically what I'm doing here, got the index at the seventh fret on the E string, but I've got it covering the B string too. Playing both those notes and then a bend at the 10th. And then he kind of, at the tail end of it, Seven, ten, back to seven. But he would change it around a little bit every time, but the gist of it is. And finish it off with a bend or, or a lick of your choice. Still in the key of B, um, but up in a different region here as far as the blues scale goes. In the scale, you've got your pentatonic right here. And what he's doing, he's bending up at the 17th. And then generally, I, I'm guessing he probably uses pinky. You could do it with your middle and ring as well. Just it depends on your choice as far as comfort. But I've got my pinky on the 17th of the high E. I'm bending up. And I'm doing four notes alternating really fast on the E string. So real slow here. And then I'm kind of tailing it off with. So bringing the bend down, 17, down, pull off to 15, 
16 on the G string, back to 17 on the B string, back to 16 on G, and back to 15 on B. Another lick that would work great is a little thing um, that I've heard Johnny do a few times where he actually does a little bend. Again, I'm in, just in the blues box, um, but he skips a string here. So you can see I'm going from, I'm doing the bend. Doing the bend here at the ninth fret. Pulling off to the seventh, ninth fret on the D string, and then I'm skipping way up to the high E string on the seventh fret, then seventh fret of the G string, and then landing on the D string. Another thing that you might catch Johnny doing, um, it's kind of going in between the different uh, blues positions. Again, I'm in the key of B, but I'm getting a little bit outside of just the box here. Um, but see, keeping that same real fast picking thing that he does. You can see what I'm doing here. I'm sliding out of the box. At the 11th fret on the G string, 10th fret, on the B string, and then I'm going up to the 14th on the G string, 12th on the B string. And there's a number of ways he did that. Sometimes he'd play the notes together. It might take a little practice because Johnny was a very quick player, very articulate. You can hear every note that he plays. And again, like I say in, in all the videos, take a little bit of what Johnny did, try and incorporate it into your own playing. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you check out some of the other videos on Reverb. Until next time.